So here's how you tell whether Fe plus O2 yields Fe2O3 is a redox reaction. What we'll do is we'll use these rules here to write the oxidation numbers for each element here, each atom, and that way we'll be able to tell if we have a redox reaction. Let's do it. So iron, that's a free element, and things like iron that are free elements, sodium or even H2 or O2, they're zero, and there's O2. It's just oxygen atoms. That's going to be a free element. It's oxidation number zero. So over here, iron in this Fe2O3, iron three oxide, we don't really have a rule for iron down here. So what we're gonna do is look at the oxygen because oxygen's almost always negative two with a few exceptions. So we have negative two, three times negative two, that's gonna be negative six here. So we need a positive six over here. So if the iron was plus three, two times plus three, that would give us the positive six. So these are our oxidation numbers here for the Fe2O3. Now for a redox reaction, we're looking to see whether the oxidation numbers change. So iron goes from zero to plus three, oxygen goes from zero to negative two. And I can see that the zero to negative two, this number got smaller. So this was reduced, the number got smaller. That means up top we have oxidation here because the number got larger. This actually lost electrons. The oxygen here gained electrons, it's reduced. So this is a redox reaction. We have reduction and oxidation. If you need more help with redox or oxidation numbers, jump over to my website here, breslin.org slash redox, and you'll get everything you need. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.